Does your bank really have your best interest at heart? Our financial contributor, Vera Gibbons, is here with the dirty little secrets <laughs> of banks. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Uh, how do banks make money? Oh. On, on normal folks, on average folks. Well, now they're trying to shore up the balance sheets here, Harry, so they're slapping on all sorts of fees. Over 50% of their revenue now comes from fees. You get the small piddly ones, you get the sneaky ones. Mm. Overdraft fees, they make $2 billion a year on overdraft charges. On overdraft. That's the biggest one. Right, because back in the day, you used to go, and if you were writing a check, it would just get bounced, right? It would be denied, or right. yeah. So these days, most of these banks will let you make the purchase even though you don't have any money in your account. They think you do, they're doing you a favor, saving you the embarrassment. Right. They're not alerting you, not telling you about this. Mm -hmm. So you could conceivably overdraw four or five times a day at right. a fee of $30 per overdraft. Well, yeah, well, let's put it, we have a graphic that mm -hmm. helps show this because it really is an example. So you're out one, over a weekend writing checks for a whole bunch of things from coffee to a car wash to, to your rent. So that's right. those, so those are have, normal expenditures. Say so you have $1,000 in your account. You make all these little small purchases mm -hmm. over the course of the day. You're fine, right? Then you make the check for the $900. That one bounces, and you get charged an overdraft fee of $30. Now, what they do instead, though, these days, is that they clear the... Big largest check. ones right. first. So that 900 rent, you're fine with that, but you're going to bounce a check on the second purchase for $150, and then you're going to be hit with four overdraft charges for a total of $120 in fees. I mean, this is the old poor just get poor, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you're sort of eking along, you're riding along at the margin, you write four checks for what you don't think are significant amounts of money and end up being charged. How much money? That, that latte is going to cost you $33. Oh, my God. Is there, is there a way to get around this or is there a way to help yourself be more aware so you're not well, so ultimately, subject, you, ultimately, subjected yeah, to these You should be a better poll keeper. I mean, you should yes. opt out of the protection plans if at all possible. You can also sign up can for... Can you do that? Can you, you can, say, yeah. I don't want the protection? Right, and sign up for alerts via right. email or text, and they'll alert you when your balance goes below a certain level. You could also link your account, so mm -hmm. if your checking account goes below a certain limit, they're going to pull from your savings account. There is going to be a small transfer fee, right. but it's not nearly as bad as getting hit with that overdraft <sighs> fee. That was, that was devastating. Let's talk about some other things, because a lot of banks advertise free checking accounts. Accounts. Are there, what's that? Free checking. It's not really free. What does that mean? <laughs> Legally, all it means to when they say it's free is mm -hmm. that there's no uh, number of, there, you, there's no fee attached to the number of checks you're writing, right. writing or debits sure. or whatever. No fee as it relates to the account balance. All other fees are fair game ATM charges, debit charges, fees to actually write those checks. You need to be aware that if you don't use an ATM that's part of your banking system, that you'll end up being charged for. That's exactly right. And the right. problem is that they don't disclose these fees. A lot of these banks don't. They're supposed to. Mm. But a government accountability office actually did a survey. They went to 185 branches and found that bunch of these banks are not disclosing the fees, not the terms, not the conditions, and over 50% don't have any of this information on their website. So consumers are at a loss. Wow. Okay, last but not least, unemployment benefit cards. Now, what, what is that about? This is an interesting trend. A growing number of states uh, right now, over 30 states, are issuing prepaid debit cards for the unemployed instead of paper checks. And these debit cards come oh. with all sorts of fees. Fees to use them, fees to not use them. There are dormancy fees, fees to actually get help from customer service, fees to check your balance. Oh. So the best way around this fee, if this is an option, depends on your state, depends on your bank, is to opt for direct, direct deposit. deposit. There if possible. All right, Vera, as always, thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Harry. Good job. For more on hidden bank fees, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.